Tonight, a sobering statistic. It is estimated that the Earth has lost half of its coral reef since the 1950s, with 14 percent lost between 2008 and 2019. Climate change and pollution are to blame, and our reefs here in Florida are under threat. In tonight's Don't Trash Our Treasure, we team up with debris-free oceans to show you how they're fighting to save our reefs by cleaning up all the junk we humans keep dumping on them. A mile offshore Fisher Island, just south of Government Cut, I joined a group of divers under the sea to clean up this patch reef about 10 to 15 feet below the surface. The mission is to remove marine debris from the reef, so fishing line, plastics, cans, bottles, bags, and prevent them from smothering our reef or being consumed uh, by our fish and marine life. Maddie Kaufman is the program and outreach director of Debris Free Oceans, a Miami-based organization dedicated to cleaning up all the trash and litter plaguing our beaches, reefs, and ocean. In 2021, sometime this year, a new paper came out that found that there is 24.4 trillion pieces of plastic in the ocean now, which is 60 times the number of stars in the Milky Way galaxy. On this day, Kaufman leads a team of 11 divers all of them committed to preserving one of Florida's most valuable resources. Our reefs are the crown jewel of Florida and specifically of Miami. They protect our coastlines. When storms come in, reefs can buffer wave energy by like 97%. Uh, they provide uh, the food we eat. They provide recreational opportunity like we're out here. In fact, NOAA estimates South Florida's coral reefs have an annual asset value of $8.5 billion. But right now, our reefs, like our planet's reefs, are under threat. Climate change is increasing ocean temperatures, changing the ocean's chemistry, causing bleaching, outbreaks of algae, bacteria, and disease. As human pressure strangles our corals with pollution and marine debris caused by irresponsible fishing. When there is a, uh, fishing debris that's out on the reef that is left behind, it can float around and entrap our turtles and trap our fish and trap rays and trap sharks uh, and they're not able to get out. And so we attack, picking up the many pieces of abandoned traps, painstakingly removing yards of abandoned rope tangled and tied, careful not to remove any living corals now growing on some of those ghost lines. There's like hundreds of thousands of derelict traps that are left by the commercial fishermen and commercial lobster fish industry uh, every single year. After about an hour, we surface pulling up 60 pounds of debris. Look at that mess that was down there. It was a bear. And so we go back for a second dive at another nearby patch reef. Like the first site, this one also littered with fishing line, pieces of traps and plastic, 38 pounds of debris removed that otherwise would have stayed on the ocean floor. And so it was time to head back to Key Biscayne Marina to record the data from the day's haul. Piece of metal trash. Almost 100 pounds of trash collected in total. We definitely saved some corals by getting rid of all this rope that was. And for this team of devoted divers, protecting what they love is what it's all about. I love our ocean and it's a beautiful place and we want to keep it like that. It inspires people to make a change to boat more responsibly, to fish more responsibly, to try to use less uh, plastic. So I think that that's kind of uh, mission accomplished. No more trash! <laughs> no more trash. Many thanks to Divers Paradise and Key Biscayne and their crew who took us out that day. Debris Free Oceans began their reef cleanup program in 2017. So far, they've removed more than 2,000 pounds of trash from our reefs. If you're a scuba diver and you want to get involved, Debris Free Ocean sponsors these cleanups about four times a year. You can sign up for their newsletter to learn more. You just scan that QR code right there on your screen. It'll take you right to the Don't Trash Our Treasure link on local10.com.